Hello and welcome to today's directed draw. All right, so today we're going to be doing a butterfly. So let's get started. So I remembered to put my audio on this time around. Um, I'm gonna have to redo the three that I did earlier, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna have our paper wide like a wall. Now the first step is I'm gonna draw a circle and I'm gonna draw it right here. So there's the head for the butterfly. Let me kind of put that right in the middle. Then butterflies have a thorax, just like any insect, except for a spider. I, do they have a thorax? Um, let's see. So you're going to draw the head and their thorax, which is kind of like their um, torso or upper body. And to do that, I'm going to go around like this and connect. Then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to do a longer U shape or a long V shape. And let me move this up a little bit. So I'm going to start right here and we're going to draw its abdomen. It goes down curve and then I'm going to do like a soft V and go all the way back up. Okay, so I'll show you again. I'm going to start here, you're going to curve down like this to a point and curve back up. Okay, so now I can give you the option and you can do this if you'd like or not if you don't want to. So starting from here, you can do a curve line like this all the way down. And again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. <clears throat> this is just some extra detail. All right, so you have something like this. Now to do the wings. So a butterfly actually has two pairs of wings. So the first pair, I'm gonna draw on the thorax, okay? So starting from this little indent, you're gonna go out and curve like that. Same thing on the other side, you're gonna go out and curve. Let me try that one again, like that. And then you're gonna connect it here to the bottom of the thorax. So I'm gonna continue and curve. If you wanna make this a little bit more like that. Okay, so there's the first two wings and then the bottom ones start here. So you're gonna go down and up like that. So you can do a wing like that or you can do a wing that has little curves in it, like that, or you can just do a curved wing like this, okay? So let's just do a curved wing for this one, whoops, so I'm going to go like that, okay? I know it's not even, so... I'm a perfectionist, or what you call a perfectionist, which means it has to be perfect. But it's just a curve. Okay, we're just gonna leave it. So now we have the two wings. I'm gonna shrink mine a little bit so I have a little more space. Hopefully you guys didn't draw yours too big. All right, now I'm gonna do the antennas. So I'm gonna start right here on the head and I'm gonna go up, around, and curve like this and put a little circle at the end. Same thing on the other side. And these antennas don't have to be the same. That's fine. So something like that. And now you get to do the fun part. You get to do the designs. 
So what I like to do is I like to start here again in the thorax and I'm going to go up, out, and in like this. Same thing over here. Anything you put on one wing, you have to do the same thing for the other wing because butterflies are generally pretty symmetrical, which means both sides look the same or they have the same designs. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to go down like this and then I'm gonna do two more lines like this or actually one line there and the other one I'm gonna do here like that. Same thing on this side, you're gonna go up and basically these are gonna be the, um, the same but the opposite, which means they're gonna be going in the other direction. So I have something like that. You can put some circles up here if you'd like. I like to do one big and two small. And you can do some more if you have room. I'm gonna do that. And then on the bottom wing, I'm gonna start here like that. Do some curves and I'm gonna do some lines like that. And you can kind of come up with your own shapes. This is your butterfly, so you can do whatever you want. And then I'm gonna do some more ovals over here and some circles. And there you have a butterfly. So this one is looking straight at you so we don't see its legs. Now, if you wanted to do one that was on its side, I'll show you how that looks. So to do that, I'm gonna do the same circles for the head right here. Then I'm going to do the thorax, but it's going to be longer, and the abdomen is going to be longer too. Then these butterflies have six legs. So to draw the legs, I go out, down, and it has two little things on the end. Out, down, oops, with two things, like toes. And these are all on its thorax. So there's three on each side. Okay. So. Let me move it down a little bit. I'm going to start my first wing on the thorax, like before, go up and around, and then out and down like this. And to show that it has two, I'm gonna go right here and do that. Same thing over here, like that. And then you can add whatever designs. This antenna, I'm just gonna go like that. And then if you want to draw the eyes, they're long and oval shaped. Let me try that again. <clears throat> and they're kind of towards the back of the head. So it looks something like this. And then they have this tongue that swirls out like that. It's like a straw. But you know those um, party horns where you blow it and it curls out? and then curls back in. That's kind of what a uh, lay, uh, ladybug, a butterfly's tongue looks like. And they use it kind of like a straw. And that's how they can go really deep into the flower to get all the nectar and yummy goodness. All right, and then you guys can do whatever shapes you want. Sometimes I do these little upside down rain, raindrop shapes like that. And you can still do the circles. So remember, everything you put on one wing goes on the other. Okay. 
So that's like a side view of a butterfly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this directed draw. I hope it was easy. Remember, you guys can always pause, rewind, rewatch it if you guys couldn't get a certain direction. Um, but you can color these really colorful. Um, and you guys can even put this on a leaf or a flower. You can put on the daisy that I did a direct to draw on. Oh my goodness, there's so many options. So make them really colorful and pretty. And tag me in it at Doodles with Miss C, and I'll be able to see them. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Make sure you wash your hands, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye!